Hi friends, Allison here with Ages Inspired Life. Um, I have a quick video for you. I was organizing some stuff on my desk and I realized I forgot to respond to one of the questions on one of my previous videos and I'm really, really sorry. So um, I wanted to show you how I organize some of my ephemera. Uh, someone had asked when they saw me pull it out. So um, what I have on my desk that's a little bit hard to see because you're staring like down at it, right? But um, I... <laughs> I have multiple things around me as I've shown you in like my cleanup video. I have some trays and whatever, but as I sort through stuff on my desk and I like stuff to be like right next to me, um, I have a big box, okay, of stuff. So I'm just going to show it to you um, relatively quickly. First of all, I wanted to show you the box it is. It is this um, Recollections Memory Box. I got them like dirt cheap on sale from Michael's. I bought probably 10 of them. I keep old photos in them. I keep other stuff in it. And I have a few that I haven't used, obviously like this one that's still in the packaging. And it has like this if you want to label it or whatever. Um, I obviously took the top off. You can see the top. It's sitting in the top right here to put this in. So, I mean, it's 11 and a quarter by seven and three eighths. So, um, some of you heard my, my rant about Joann's because I bought like a really cool file folder that you put on your desk and I was hoping that this would be prettier, but it's not. Um, and my little box from Michael's works just fine. So, uh, let me show you how I have it right now. Um, okay. So all I did is first of all, the front is stuffed with like little pieces that I haven't put away or if I see something like it falls off of something or it comes across my desk for something I don't even know why this is out but somehow it's out I don't even know where it came from but I just tuck it in the side right here just so it's like in a spot these are kind of all random things anyway in the front I just made some pockets this literally is an envelope that has some random bits in it Okay, they're not organized. It should be organized better. They're not. It's just pieces that came across. So these could technically go in other envelopes. So this is a pocket I made from Joey's channel. Here's a punch. Okay, these, so this is kind of like a random folder. Okay, not, not very organized. Then what I did was I took some extra paper Okay, this is from a Happy Planner. I literally folded it in half and, well, I did uh, do a half punch here. I washied the sides and I put a tab on it and I made, you know, six or eight of them or something like that. And then, so I have these two blank ones still and then some of these I just put a little, you know, label on. So I have days, numbers, months, I have um, this one I have tags because you know you need a place for your tags but see stuff like this could go in there but I also think this came across my desk I saw it and I pulled it and I wanted it on the front because I wouldn't remember that I have this specific tag and I knew I needed it for my page okay so that comes out but anyway so tags I do have one for borders because you know I love my borders and I have already in here some punch with my favorite punch ever. I also have some strips that have cut. They're just border size, if you will. It just made sense to me to have one section of borders. Uh, you know, not everybody needs a border pocket, obviously. This pouch is for pockets. Now I've made like this is this is just an envelope. Obviously, it goes this way. I cut it in half or however long it was. I already used the other half on something. And then, you know, I use them this way, obviously. And then I just cut the half thing. So it's ready to go onto a page. You could obviously cut it shorter if you want to just, you know, a small little pocket on your page and use it that way. So when I, when I make a pocket and I have it available, I just stick it in here. Here's one I made. So if I'm practicing some of these, like off of Joey's channel, and I'll link her below. I mean, she makes amazing things. This is not even a good representation, but um, some of those go in here. I was watching some video a little bit ago, um, and I ended up sending some of these out in Happy Mail. It's like an envelope 
that I only finished halfway. <laughs> like I, this is definitely how it was supposed to go. And I think you're supposed to decorate the, the, this part and then you still have this. I don't even know, but regardless, it's a little pocket. And so I keep those in here. Okay. So those are my handmade um, envelopes that, I mean, literally it's a piece of paper. You could make them any size. You could do whatever. I also have in here, just because I've been using it recently, this is a piece of Teresa Collins scrapbook paper. And I, these numbers fit perfectly with my little punch, circle punch, and you could use them for dates. So I've pulled that. It doesn't necessarily fit into this numbers envelope, right? So I just have it stuck behind here. Okay. Cause I can see it. And then I have a favorite quote. Well, a quote that I wrote down. I don't know if it's a favorite yet. I have some other pages that I made. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know what to quite do with these. So I just stuck them in here. Um, yeah, I don't know where else to put them. I guess is why they're in this box. I have some old planner tabs from, um, a little planner. And so these are fun. You could use them to cut out, obviously, and just put, you could use them with the actual um, month. You could put them on your page and have the month stick out. So I've done that. Okay, so that's an old planner that I have in here ready to go. I also have multiple other happy planners you can see here. Old happy planners with the months on them. Same idea. Okay, you could use this. You could just cut these pieces out and use the tabs separate. You could... You could use this whole page if you have this um, size um, page, which is basically the composition size book. Um, you might cut it down just a little bit or something, but I mean, it's really cute. And a lot of the artwork I just love from the different, they're all different themes and whatnot, but some of this I really loved. It obviously still has the calendar on the back. So if you wanted to just use a piece of this or whatever, and you wanted to use like this month, you would just cut that out. So I have all of these in here. You can see I've had multiple happy planners and so different months, different colors, different artwork, some of which I like, some of which, you know, and I'll definitely use and then some of which I don't. Ooh, I'm shaking you. Sorry, drop my box here. Um, some of which, you know, are not my favorite and I'll just cut them up and use them that way. This one's fun. Look at that. It's just like fun colored paper. I don't know. I would totally use that. Okay. All right. So that's that. So I have a bunch of those. This was the fitness one, and it, like, I don't know. Ooh, Elizabeth, do you need these shoes? Um, but, like, I would I would use this quote for sure, right? Okay, so, you know, keeping what I can and using what I can. These are some projects I was working on. I don't even know. This is an extra pocket that I used to keep. Okay, then I have file folders, and this is what I like this system for. This is how my brain works because I like stuff, um up and down, not flat, like not horizontal in a drawer all the time. Although some things I keep in a drawer, but if I'm just going to pull it, I'm okay pulling a folder. So this one I did have titled like this month, but I've just left it blank now. I am, this is kind of current stuff or things I think I'm going to use for an example, like there's toilet paper in here just because of the whole, you know, COVID thing or whatever. So that was kind of like, I knew a picture that I could use. Then after that, I do have them divided into images and again, if you've seen some of my sorting stuff, I don't know why something might go in here and not in my other folder that's more art journal-y. Um, these are definitely images I think I would use in my journal versus my art journal, if that makes sense. So my daily Fobonichi creative journal, my daily journal, these are images I think I would use in there as opposed to like my true, true art journal where I'm like, painting and using gesso and stenciling and like all of that kind of stuff I put that in my other drawer okay so this box is really just for my daily journal so I do have images I then have printables and these are um things I've either printed or you know off um Pinterest or whatnot or other sites these are my um things from Loveland's life um, because I'm one of her Patreons, and so I print up some of those words. These are from Lynn also, but this is off her Etsy store. But look how stinking cute the pineapples are. Um, and again, you saw my last video, or I don't know which one of these I'm going to post actually first. But anyway, I like to keep them in sheets, I think. But sometimes it's easier if they're like in that little box, right? So um, 
well, this is the one I have, these little trash cans I made, right? But to keep little stuff in. So this is a little pack of stickers that I was using. But if you wanted to cut up your printables, I know a lot of you sort them out so you could keep all your words in one, all your numbers in another little box. So maybe that's another way to keep it. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. So anyway, printables is this folder. This is words. And so things with words or sayings, I don't know. Okay. The next one I have is stickers. Now I have a whole nother bucket of stickers. Again, for scrapbooking, I have it all organized differently or whatever. This is stuff that I think I'm going to use in my daily Fobonichi. So I don't have to get up, go to my closet, get out another bucket of stuff or whatever. This is like easy grab. Like I use a lot of happy faces or um, emoji faces, whatever these are called. Um, you know, little letters, stuff like that. These are things I'm going to use in my journal. I would not use these. I wouldn't use these in my scrapbook. Okay. All right. So that's stickers. Um, here is some, oh, here's some weather stickers. I love those. So we'll put those up front. I do have some letters in here. So as I use letters, I pull them from my letter drawer and I put them in here if I'm going to use them in here. So that's stickers. My next one is um, backgrounds like to write on. So oftentimes not in my current journal because it has white pages, but if I make a junk journal or if I get a journal um, and they come with like colored pages, is that the right word? Pattern pages, something that's like you're not going to write directly on. You need, I need to add a background. And so these are some background pages. So a lot of it's just plain watercolor that I've done. Um, Oh, so this should probably go in images. This should probably go in pictures. So this was some of the stamping I did. So that's kind of in the wrong place. So I would take that out and I would maybe put that either with words or images. We'll put it in images for now so I can just cut those apart. Okay. But like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. This is a bad angle. I couldn't quite figure out how else to tape you, but um, you can see I've taped. No, I've painted just some work workbooks, old workbooks. Okay. To get some backgrounds there. Um, some of the envelopes, just whatever random paper. Here's some plain paper that I ripped out of my last journal. Let me see if I can tip you back up. All right, there's the plain paper that I ripped out because it was too fat. Here's like a collage. I have a bunch behind me also. Here's some envelopes that I've saved. Look at that one. Oh, the coveted green. There's also a red one from Target that's like my favorite, but I don't have a Target credit card. And so I only get it when they send me a thing that says buy a credit card, but I don't. And I keep the envelope. <laughs> There's an old page of a map. Here are some stickers that I've painted. Is that picking up for you guys? These are, um, what are these? Ring holders, right? Or ring protectors in your folder, in your, okay. So you just paint on the whole sheet of stickers and then you can use it as background or whatever. Um, I have old calendars. I keep those and cut them up as little journaling squares or for the numbers. And then I have a couple books back here that I use frequently just for plain paper. That's kind of a cool blue graph. This one's fun. I've shown you guys this. This is I got it at like the thrift store for I don't even know, but it has like some fun paper in it. So oftentimes... Um, you know, I'm cutting out a piece just for journaling, and then I'm using this and something else. I can't see that. I'm using this and something else. I don't usually like pull the whole piece, but you certainly could. Okay. So like you could cut that out, but I would just use like this box right here for journaling on my page. Okay. So like keeping an eye out for books like this, it was like a buck. So my husband is like trying to get my attention. We're going to ignore him. There's graph paper and uh, just a workbook. So, and then I have a quote here because, and I left it sticking up because I know I want to use this coming up. Um, so anyway, that's what, that's what you guys asked about. It's just a shoe box, if you will, but it's not a shoe box. It's like a recollections photo box. And I made my own envelopes in the front. And then I put this literal like used envelope also in the front. And it just sits on the side of my desk. Okay, so I hope that's helpful for you guys. If you have any other ideas um, that you guys really enjoy, let me know. I would love to um, 
see, I always like seeing different ideas on how you organize your stuff. I do also have, and I want to show you, I'm going to, they were in here, but as you can see, my box is full. These are all the old calendar pages, um, you know, with the pretty art. So I have those as well, and I'll probably put those kind of like on the side or something, so I have them close. And then I also have this pad of like quotes. The problem with this pad is it's, um, they're post-its. And so you can't really like pull through here and like pull this one. I have because I'm just cutting out this piece, but you can't like pull this whole sheet unless you're going to pull them all apart. So it's not as easy as like a flip pad. But anyway, I also have these sitting by this whole stack. So I have lots of stuff to pull from just as I'm, you know, putting together my pages on a daily basis. All right. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the question. If you have any other questions or anything else um, you want to know, I love to get ideas from you guys. I would certainly um, love to share whatever, you know, you have a question about. I'm happy to to share with you guys also because sometimes something works for someone and we get the idea and it's like, oh, that would work for me too. So have a great day, you guys. I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.